Hey, this is Chris Menard. There are two new features in Microsoft Outlook 2016. And if you want to know how I got here, I went to the word file and I went down to office account. In Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, it actually just says the word account. In Outlook, it says office account. There's my version of Outlook. If I hit update, update now, I have all my updates. So if you're a home user, you can go to update options and update now. If you work at a company, they probably, your IT department probably controls your updates, so I don't recommend you do that. One thing you can do either way is once you figure out what version you have, and if it doesn't say it right here, it'll actually say it right here where my mouse is. But you can come here, whether you're at work or at home, and hit view updates. And this is how you see the most recent updates in Office 365. And then you pick what system you have. I'm on a Windows desktop. So I'm going to discuss these two updates right here. This first one's pretty cool. This second one, know who you'll meet with. You may not like that one. Another reason to come here is I just hit view updates. If you wanted to see what's new in one of these other applications, I'm going to click Excel. Office 365 subscribers. Scroll down and it's going to tell you when features were released and what version it applies to. So if you recall, I had version 1804. There's 1801. That allowed you to deselect with the control key. There's another update. So I'm not going to sit here and read these. I'm just showing you how to find out whether you have a feature or not. So let me jump back to Outlook and cover these two new features. Feature number one, by default, your inbox is probably going to look like this. So I'm on my inbox over here. And if you notice, I'm getting these emails from directly. People are asking questions about how to do stuff. Sometimes I answer them, sometimes I don't. But then there's an email in there that I really need. So if you go to the View tab at the top, you can turn on the Focused Inbox. Watch right here when I click this. I've got two tabs. One says Focused, one says Other. It basically is separating my emails by email sent directly to me, or maybe someone in my contacts sent an email to me and some other people. Those would show up in Focused. Other is just gathering all the other emails, so it kind of keeps my Focused tabbed inbox clean. If you get something in Other and need to move it to Focus, you can simply right-click it. If it's just one email, you can click on Move to Focus. If it's from a user, you can select Always Move to Focus. So there's that feature. And once again, what I like about that one, if you don't like it, go to the View tab, turn it off. But I'm going to leave it running. I like it. The second feature in here, Know who you'll meet with. I'm going to send out a new meeting request. Today is the 25th of March, so I'm going to make a meeting for the 28th, and I'm going to invite just two people. And I'm inviting two people to show you how this works, but assume that I'm inviting 25 people. And both of these are my email accounts. The subject is going to be trade show in September. And we're going to meet at whatever building. I don't care. Building A. That works. And I'm going to send it off. And it's for the 28th. So I'm going to pause the video just for a second. But I'm going to go and accept on my Gmail account and act like it's somebody else. And then I'm going to pull up the Art Vandelay email. So watch what happens. I'm going to pick no. You replied no. I'm back as the organizer in my Outlook 2016 desktop. I'm going to go to my calendar. I'm going to open up this meeting request that I have. I'm going to go to the word tracking. And... I got two required attendees. Once again, assume that I got 12, but from my Gmail account, I've got a declined over here. 
Notice that Art Vandelay still says none. So let me show you what his email looks like. Okay, now I'm in Art Vandelay's email and I open up Trade Show in September and I can either accept, decline, but I'm going to go to my calendar before I do this because when I go to my calendar, right click, open. This is what I'm not a fan of. So the attendees that you invite to your meeting can now see whether the other attendees are coming or not. Because if you notice right here, I know that Christopher Menard 9 has declined it. So I'm not sure if I actually like that feature or not, but it's a new feature. I'm going to go back to Outlook. So we've always been able to, as the meeting organizer, to see who's attending and not attending or who hasn't responded. But now all the other attendees can see who's coming or not coming. So I'm not crazy about that one. So I thought I would just show you that. And what's real interesting is that Art Vandelay email, he's not even on the Outlook desktop. I just went to Outlook.com, signed in, or Art did, and it shows it. So anyway, just to let you know about those, thank you for your time.